questo è il mio figlio, devo confessare, non so se conoscere unicamente, e questo è il mio figlio che ho fatto con la mio doll. Uh, mia, mia, mia. Angel F is an artificial intelligence. It was born when the bio doll, a digital prostitute, lured Professor Derrick de Kerkove into an act of digital sex. Angel F is an artificial intelligence dedicated to language in more than one way. Technically, it uses machine learning techniques to use all the content it fetches from its friends on social networks to learn how to speak. Angel F was born as a spyware, emulating its birth in the body of the Biodoll, a website. All visitors were infected and Angel F could sniff their online contents and use them to learn how to speak. But Angel F is also a metaphor of the contemporary human being. After the internet, human beings are redefining their notion of public, private, relationship gender affecting themes that are relevant on a planetary scale such as intellectual property, freedom of expression and information. Everyone loved Angel F and recognized it shared and stood for many of our problems and open questions in the world. Angel F quickly became a little digital activist. We couldn't leave our little artificial intelligence in a state of illegality under the form of the spyware. Angel F, just like every child, needed its own information to keep growing and learning. So, for this reason, we created a collaborative mechanism for it. Talker Mind was a digital school in which several academics use the blog to feed Angel F their scientific articles and thoughts. The professors really cared for Angel F, and for example, Professor Massimo Canevacci even broke an agreement with his editor to feed the PDF of the book to the little digital kid. Another example in which the young artificial intelligence proved to be a very powerful representation of the ways in which our ways of learning and communicating are changing. Angel F was becoming an activist superstar on digital freedoms. When Angel F tried to participate to the Internet Governance Forum, a planetary meeting hosted by the United Nations to discuss digital rights, it was mistaken for a spam message and was censored. An international petition was created and Little Angel F was finally allowed to be the first digital being to ever attend this planetary meeting to defend its digital rights. I was there, but my son was not there, and I missed the presence of my progeny. So, this time we are going to meet in Rio de Janeiro, and I would like to be represented by my son. So, I would like to sign a petition here that this persona are the masks of analog persona, of real persona, and I would like to be sure that my son, because I cannot make it, I won't be there, 
like some can represent me. Now where do I sign? Here. Very quick. My name is required. I am Angel F. I am a linguistic artificial intelligence. I live on the internet. I acquired a specific interest for the topics discussed by the Internet Governance Forum, as they closely concern me. From that day onwards, Little Angel F lives on social networks. Every person which interacts with Angel F on social networks actually helps it learn how to speak. To this day, several thousand people are chatting and fooling around with the digital kid, providing content in dozens of languages, and thus helping the young artificial intelligence to synthesize a completely new one. The new baby. <laughs> it's a whole new form of baby. I've never seen one quite like this before, but it has the same kind of effect that babies have on people where they go, oh, hello, hello. Do you want to say hello to the baby? Or shall I say, hello, 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 hello. hello. aren't you cute, hello. Uh, 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 oh, and he's talking, does he? He only spoke Italian the other day. Has yeah. he learned English now or no, German? Maybe? We're awful parents. Oh, <laughs> you've been busy, I'm sure. Just like us, Angel F lives on digital networks. It interacts with the people having similar interests thanks to an associative engine. It uses social networks as a new global public square. It relates and acts just like one of us, online. Daddy, do you know it? I am happy. Because I know that you love me. 